Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of This Week in Star Wars Canon. I'm so glad you could join me so I could talk about everything new in the Star Wars universe such as the comics, the novels, the TV series, and the video games. This week we had two more episodes from Star Wars Rebels Season 4. We had Episode 7, Kindred, as well as Episode 8, Crawler Commander. So Kindred is all about the Rebels splitting up. So we have Heron Sedula and we have Chopper going back to Yavin 4 with very valuable information about the TIE Defender program. Meanwhile, the rest of the Rebels are there in Lothal battling the Empire and Grand Admiral Thrawn sends in his assassin, Rook, to kind of even out the odds. And the next episode of Crawler Commanders, you have the Rebels still on Lothal. They're trying to get a signal out to the Rebellion. And in order to do that, they have to commandeer this mining guild ship with a signal that's strong enough to get out past the Imperial blockade. And then you have Hera, who is at base one on Yavin 4. And she's trying to convince the Rebellion that they need to attack that TIE Defender factory on Lothal. Or else their fleet will get decimated. But I do have the reviews on the YouTube channel right now, so make sure you check them out if you want to hear my criticisms and what I liked and what I didn't like about those episodes. And next thing I want to talk about is we have a brand new comic. This is Star Wars number 38. Not only does this start a new arc called The Ashes of Jedha, but it also is a big switch on the creative team for this comic. So we used to have Jason Aaron who has been writing this since issue number one, but now Kieran Gillen who used to write Darth Vader as well as Dr. Aphra has taken over the reins. So this is a very interesting comic because we're now bridging into the gap between some Rogue One co uh, content as well as what our big three heroes, Luke Han and, and Leia, is up to. So you have the planet of Jeddah, which has been decimated by the Death Star, but the Rebellion needs to recruit more people. So they're going to try to get the Partisans back into the Rebel Alliance. But meanwhile, the Empire has found interest in Jeddah again, and they're going back to get more Kyber crystals so Luke Han and Leia do make contact with the partisans and it's not going exactly as it was foreseen so getting into my positives for this episode first off I like seeing some of these different kind of vehicles introduced in this comic such as a snow speeder as well as one of those drop ships that was at the end of the Clone Wars and has been in the recent Rebels episodes I particularly like the snow speeder because to me it shows like okay we are getting closer to the Empire Strikes Back now that Kieran Gillen has been the writer on this he's trying to get us closer to the Empire Strikes Back whereas uh, Jason Aaron's first couple issues of the run was the victory, the high of victory after the destruction of Death Star. Kieran Gillen's going to get into the darker stuff now. He's going to get into the part where, you know, the Empire strikes back. We're going to get to that point where the Empire's going to start to win. Another thing I enjoyed about this is seeing what has become of Jeddah from a surface point of view as well as from space. So on the surface, it looks like hell, basically. There's dust, there's red, it's all over the freaking place. And from the outside, there's just magma, molten core, exposed. It's just freaking incredible to see that. Um, something else I enjoyed about this issue is seeing this character who is an aspirant to the Disciple of the Wills. His name is Cholko. To me, this is interesting because he's very spiritual. He's talking to Luke, who's trying to be a Jedi, obviously. So he's trying to get some of this information for this person that worshipped the Force. And interesting enough, these types of aspirants were actually explored a little bit in that young reader novel, Guardians of the Will. Moving over to the Imperial characters that were introduced in this issue, we have both Commander Kanchar as well as Queen, uh, Queen Trios of Shru Turin. So first off, Commander Kanchar, this guy's a badass. He is a war veteran. He has lost an eye. He doesn't have an arm, but he has a cybernetic arm. And he pretty much has the presence of a Darth Vader because he just interrogates this officer that's not getting the kyber crystals fast enough out of Jedi and he just kills him and, and takes over command. Moving over to Queen Trios, that name might sound familiar because she was actually a large part in the Darth Vader 2015 series which was also written by Kieran Gillen. So it's cool how he's actually pulling some of his characters into this particular comic and it just works so well with her character because we know Shutoran is an ore mineral uh, harvester for the Empire and now she has experience with that even the environments are very similar so she's right at home now trying to direct all the things going on in Jedi. I'm guessing those kyber crystals will probably be for the Death Star too. Another thing I liked was the nod to Rogue One where you have Luke, Leia, and Han on their knees in front of Benthic Two Tubes with the hoods on their heads. And I, I love Benthic Two Tubes. This guy's awesome. He also has a brother, Edrio Two Tubes. I don't know if he survived, but it's neat to see that Benthic is just as hardcore as ever. 
you know, taking up the leadership after Saul Guerrero. I'm so happy this character survived, and I hope we get to see him do some badass stuff in this issue. The only thing I didn't like about this issue is sometimes LaRocca's artwork can be a little muddied, and it's a little bit hard to decipher what might be going on in a specific panel. But other than that, I really enjoyed this new issue of Star Wars. I mean, it's really revitalizing the entire uh, line of the franchise here with the Star Wars flagship title. It was getting a little bit stale for me, I'll be honest, with Jason Aaron's run, especially the last couple issues have just been standalone. But now we're getting into this really meaty story. I hope that our characters learn about the sacrifice of Jyn Erso, or at least that name is mentioned somewhere in there, and, or Rogue One would be pretty cool. But yeah, this is a great arc and uh, you guys should definitely pick this one up so next week you can look forward to star wars rebels it's gonna have another episode this is rebel assault and this will be the last episode before we go on break and i don't know when it's gonna return so it's gonna be i'm sure a very big cliffhanger going on as far as comics for next week you can look forward to dr after number 14 we have darth vader number eight as well as star wars adventures number four but the thing i'm most excited about for next week is star wars battlefront 2 is finally going to be here but if you actually want to play it now and have a pc or an xbox one and are willing to spend like 4.99 you could actually do so by signing up for ea access which is their monthly subscription to play a lot of their game libraries and they actually offer a 10 hour trial to battlefront 2 and i'm downloading the game right now so i hope to show you guys lots of footage but if you don't want to do that you can actually pay for the trooper deluxe edition which you could pre-order and that's the 80 dollars edition you'll be able to play three days early which would be on the 14th tuesday this upcoming week and the standard edition of the game comes out on the 17th so i want to play with you guys on xbox live my gamer tag is star raptor so hit me up on there if you don't friend me already and that is going to do it for another episode of This Week in Star Wars Canon. What did you think of Star Wars number 38? How are you enjoying Star Wars Rebels Season 4? And are you as pumped as I am for Star Wars Battlefront 2? Let's talk about it in that comment section below. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future videos. I will be doing lots of Battlefront 2 gameplay coverage, hopefully. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. I'm Star Raptor. Thank you for watching and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.